Game number one for this uh, this preview, the Liberty Bowl. Ken Neomatalola and the uh, the Navy midshipmen facing Chris Kleiman, new head coach at Kansas State, came from North Dakota State. Both of these guys like to run the football a ton. And I'm going to give you one quick stat. So, well, let's, I, I guess let's go ahead and talk about this. The opening line was Navy minus one and a half. Jumped and sat at Navy minus two and a half. It is still sitting right there. The total is 52 in this. Since 2016, there have been 17 Big 12 underdogs in bowl games. They are 10 and 7 against the spread with eight straight up wins. I like Kansas State a ton in this game. A ton. Yeah, I do too. The only thing that concerns me a little bit in this game is and I think Navy's going to have a massive fan base here. Oh, agreed. Agreed. I mean, they've, they've got uh, the, the naval base in Millington, less than an hour away from Memphis. Uh, yeah, it's it's going to be a Navy-heavy crowd. But I will also tell you this. Kansas State, they travel. And they have been fired up with this new head coach. I mean, he, Very they true. have done a fantastic job this year. Very true. So I, I think this will be pretty evenly split, to be honest. Ooh, okay. That would shock me if it's evenly split. But At Kansas State was just here not – too terribly long. I want to say four or five years ago, whatever it was, when they played Arkansas, and okay. they had half that stadium full. Like when they get excited about something, they uh, they show up in droves. Okay. So as far as stats go, you know, obviously Navy rushing yards per attempt, they're number five in the country. Kansas State is only uh, number sixty six at four point four four. Uh, Navy they stop people from running the football. Uh, Kansas State is not great at it. Um, but overall, just basic stats, I mean, these two teams are very evenly matched. Yeah, I agree. Uh, and, and let me tell you what I like, though. And this is something that I always do in bowl games. And, and, and you know, it tends to fare well is I just bet against triple option teams. I just think when you've got a couple of weeks to prepare for it, you can slow it down. Yeah, especially with a coach I, that, that knows how to stop it. Right. But I don't even know that you have to have a coach that knows how to stop it. I think all coaches kind of know how to stop it. You get a couple of weeks to actually practice it. You just don't get to practice it in the regular season when you have a week to prepare. Yeah. But when you get two weeks or more, I would like to see some hard numbers on that. I've never done the research on it. But I want to see how true triple option teams, the service academies, Georgia Tech the last couple of years, any team that, that predominantly runs that as an offense, I'd like to see what their bowl record is. Yeah, I mean, you, you do have a valid point there. Uh, the reason I brought up that, that Kleiman knows how to stop it is that is exactly what they ran at North Dakota State. So he he knows the ins and outs of that offense. He's off that same tree. So yeah. I, I do – I like Kansas State here. I think they've got the better defense. The numbers wouldn't tell you that, but – they did play a, a more significant schedule, I think, than right. this, is, this is one of the situations where numbers are just lying. Yeah. No, that's I mean, that's 100% right. I mean, uh, that's, just, that's just the truth of it. Massey strength of schedule. Navy played the number 87, or sorry, number 59 strength of schedule. Uh, Kansas mm-hmm. State played the number 23. So they both average uh, about a quarter of a turnover a game, so they're both in the plus. Uh, yeah, I like Kansas State plus two and a half here, and I, I like this game to go over the 52, which is a little strange because they're both going to be running. But I, I think that these two teams will be able to score. They will be able to exploit weaknesses on the other team. I like the over 52, and uh, and give me the Wildcats. Yeah, I'm with you on that, and and I, I think I like both of those things as well, over and uh, and, and, the, uh, and the Wildcats. The Wildcats went out right. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, we're in 100% agreement on it. All right. All right. Sounds good.